All right, we are live. Hey, everybody, what's going on? This is Ryu here, along with 40 Warrior and over here. Yo. I usually do this with Izzy, but Izzy's not here right now, so it's fine. I'm sure you're looking at this and going, what the heck? Yes, we said that as well. And the title is, Women Sues KFC for Underfilling Its Buckets. The horror. Here we go. It's hard to put a finite value on the horror of discovering your $20 KFC fill-up bucket isn't as filled up as the one in the, in, in the picture. But a brave New York woman... Brave? <laughs> and her that's, not, that's not brave. That's not brave. That's greedy. That's, aver <laughs> that's avarice. That's greed. That's ambition. Just call it whatever you want. But the main thing here is, it's all about the money. It's all about those Benjamins. It ain't about being brave. And okay, But a brave New York woman and her attorney are going to try. They figured the violation of not having a full bucket of KFC chicken is worth $20 million. Now I'm going to pause there and let you process that. Your brain is probably going to explode from the... From, from the from the of this, but we're gonna keep going with this. Anna, what? If your brain has exploded yet, we can sue this woman. Yes, we could do now, a class action suit against this woman for twenty million. She gets. And now, you know, and now I'm gonna say her name, Anna Wetzberger. The most perfect fast food name of all time. That's a mascot name, or should be. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the Words Burger. You want a Words Burger to go? <laughs> I'm sorry. Anna, how are I'm you doing so today? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm not sorry, dude. You know what? It's it's almost poetic. It's almost it's completely fake. It's almost poetic. Someone named Words Burger is suing a fast food chain. All right. Yes, it is very strange. Okay, so. Anna Wattsberger, that's the name of Snowman, that's okay, argues the chain's pulling a fast one on people who ordered the bucket-sized feast, which besides chicken includes a large coleslaw, four biscuits, two large orders of mashed potatoes and gravy. And six, six trillion calories. Yep, pretty much. She says the promo shots depict the tub about the size of an extra large movie theater popcorn as overflowing with crispy chicken. But then in reality, the container only has eight measly pieces, which maybe is a bad omen for her case, exactly how KFC website describes it. And you know what? I'm on the <laughs> KFC site right now looking at this. And yes, that's what KFC says. Eight pieces of crunchy, extra crispy chicken. And oh yes, in this link, it's on a plate. Not in a bowl, on a plate. And large to show texture, mind you. Either way, Wurzberger argues the portion amounts to a lot of BS. And she's suing to get the company to quit advertising to fill up to fill up that way she says she's retired on a budget and brought the bucket thinking she'd get a couple of meals out of it they're showing a bucket that's overflowing with chicken she tells the post noting that it is that it supposedly feeds a whole family you get half a bucket that's false advertising it doesn't feed a whole family they're small pieces now i'm gonna stop there because i've actually had kfc chicken before and I have to say, yes, there are small pieces of chicken. Mm-hmm. That they are. First, your your first big mistake is not going to Popeyes or Chick Fil A or Bojangles. I'm not doing product placement here, but let's be real. Or Bojangles. Chick Fil A. Or Bojangles. I don't have a Bojangles in Connecticut. I have a Bojangles, so. in, but not, I mean, a lot of people don't like Bojangles. But every Southern Popeyes. person talks about Bojangles like it's the freaking Bible. So well, I'll take your word the for reason, it. With, with the reason why is because Bojangles has some good sweet tea. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's good sweet oh, tea. Oh, the okay. Sweet tea, the sweet tea of Bojangles, you drink, you, you drink, okay. you drink one sip and you're hooked like that. Okay, so let's review what she just said. She yeah. said that she was thinking she was going to get a couple meals out of it. Bitch, there's six trillion calories in this meal. Don't give me that shit of, oh, it's only, it's not a couple meals. Bitch, it's a couple meals unless you're a Snorlax. 
You are not a Snorlax, I hope. <laughs> so, Ms. Wurzburger, I must ask you this. Do you go to bed at night and say, Wurzburger, use body slam? You do not? Then what you were saying is hyperbolic and also completely inaccurate. It factually... It's factually... Actually, doesn't jive with any generation, yours, mine, or the one 20 years from now. You have no standing of what you are saying. A, lar a large coleslaw. A large coleslaw. Okay, that's not much. Four biscuits. Um, let me think about that. Yeah, that's a lot of calories right there. Two large orders of mashed potatoes. Not small, not medium, but large orders of mashed potatoes and gravy on top of that. Bitch, motherfucker, you know how much fat is in that shit? You know how many calories are in that shit? What is it? It's nine, gra nine calories per gram of fat. There has to be at least 35 grams of fat in gravy for one ounce. And there's probably... I just spat my computer there. God damn it! <laughs> there's yes, probably I, you're going off. You're going off. But go ahead, man. You got there's four, probably four. a cup of gravy in there, which means um, let's see. What is what did I just say? It was like thirty-five grams of fat times nine, fat. Or, times nine or something like that. Okay, uh, uh, let's forget about the math for a minute. It doesn't matter. It's a hell of a lot. So don't tell me it isn't a couple meals. Yes, it's a couple meals. It's a couple meals you'll die from, probably. Yes. Unless you oh, like yeah, you'll eating, get a heart attack. Unless you like eating KFC every day, and no one does that. Yeah, you you pretty mental out. do that. You switch out sometimes. Unless, unless you're addicted to grease. You might be a, she might be addicted to grease if she did that. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird nowadays. When the doctor tells you, when doctors always tell you, <laughs> do not consume that much grease. That's true. Okay, let's keep going. This is now. Now, now, so forth. now if your brains aren't hurting yet... Let me continue the next paragraph. KFC's corporate office told her the pizzas are positioned like that in the ads, sort of poking out of the top. The public can see the chicken. They tried to place her with $70 in coupons, but she refused them on the principle in order to hit KFC where they, f where they feel the hurt, a.k.a. in the pocketbook. Once again, I'm going to pause there. And go, huh? <laughs> and once again, I'm going to say this. It's not about the principle. You're lying. You've seen people get sued, sue and win for coffee that's too hot. You yeah. see people sue and win for some of the... For not enough ice in their iced coffee. Dude, you I'm see people dude. sue and win for their sweet tea not having enough sugar. Dude. You see people win for the most egregious stuff out there. You're dude. not doing this on principle. Dude, I'm gonna You're doing you this for dinero. Like I said, I'm going to tell, tell you something right now that's going to make your head hurt. You ready for this? It was back in the day. But somebody actually sued, I think, I can't remember what the bagel place was, because the fact that they broke a tooth because the bagel was too hard. I'm gonna let that sink in. Was it toasted? I don't know. I'm gonna say yes. Mm, I don't know. Now, for t now, the only way I'll accept that is if we are talking about a stale bagel that has been out for a while and somehow turned rock solid. Then you shouldn't be serving that bagel to begin with. True. However, if it was toasted or something. Uh, then I have an issue. Like I said, I don't remember. I mean, I don't remember 100% if it was toasted or not. Yeah. I don't know. All I know was uh, it was a bagel. They bit it. Tooth broke. They sue. Mm. Yay. You know, I wish I knew about <laughs> this when I was a kid, Ryu, because I used to eat um some fruit snacks, mm -hmm. and it pulled two of my teeth out. Ooh. They were sort of loose and didn't hurt much, but... And me my screen's up. Had I known, <laughs> had I known that... I could have sued the makers of those fruit snacks and probably gotten a ton of money. God damn it, why did I have to be eight years old at the time? Yeah, but, you know, but do you really want to be that sued person who goes around, I'm going to sue you because of this, I'm going to sue you because of this. We already got enough people suing people as is already. No, no, because I have a spine. Point taken. <laughs> so, last paragraph. You have a spine too. Yes, I do. But last paragraph, let me see if anybody said anything. Yep. People say stuff, I'm going to just skip past the comments. Okay. 
What's Burger was also kind enough to give KSC an idea for an ad that doesn't suggest a massive tub that contains 87 pieces of chicken. You know what commercial they should put on? You remember in the movie Oliver? She tells the post. I don't. I don't know. I don't remember Oliver. It was about the little boy growing up in the orphanage and he was hungry and he goes to the man, can I have some more? Not shockingly, KFC has rejected the lawsuit as meritless. So, once again, I am not judging because I ain't trying to ain't trying to get nobody. You know, I ain't judging this lady. I'm judging. Her. I know you are, and I'm like, I know a lot of people are going, yeah, you are, you. But okay, I mean, I mean, I can understand you basically saying that. Okay, KFC doesn't have a chicken. Doesn't have a lot of chicken in the bucket. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Because you know, I'm not a huge fan of KFC. I mean, I, I used to be a huge fan of KFC when they had the honey barbecue wings. When they took them off, me and KFC didn't see eye to eye anymore. <laughs> and they're yeah. hot and they're hot you know and I mean I mean they used to have good hot wings there their hot wings were dry and stale and I don't know what so uh, me and KFC haven't seen eye to eye no more for a while mm. <laughs> and I haven't had okay. KFC's chicken in a while besides if my parents go give me some but it's pretty good sometimes but but the one thing about it I can say is like that's right I can understand you saying there's not a lot of there's not a lot of chicken in the thing but like you know but like 40 said KFC chicken if I remember correctly, has a lot of grease in it. A lot of grease. I don't know how many yeah. calories is one piece of chicken. I have no idea. So I'm sure for right now, you know, if you basically eat boo, four pieces of chicken a day, you're basically saying, kill me. You know what I'm going to do right now? Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, put this to the test. The nutrition calculator is here. Go! And I'm going to try to mimic what I see here. Alright, go. Oh, let's see. Alright. If we put eight extra crispy tenders, because I... Alright, it's... it's um, Alright, it's not tenders, but... Chicken, piece of chicken. chicken on the bone. Chicken on the bone, chicken okay. The bone. Mm -hmm. Extra crispy. Um, yes to all of these. Um, not spicy crispy, it's not grilled. And we're going to say, for sake of argument, there's two of each. So that two times four is eight. Okay. Let's add to the meal. Okay, done. Good. What we are at right now is uh, 124 grams of fat, 545 milligrams of cholesterol, 40,760 milligrams of sodium, <laughs> 147 grams of protein, though. That's good. 62 grams of carbs. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Rio. Uh, it comes with large coleslaw. They're well, that's healthy. Uh -huh. Well, that's healthy. So let's go. Salads. All right, it's not there. Um, almost else size maybe. Yeah, here we are. Coleslaw. One coleslaw. Add to meal. Okay, we are now at two thousand one hundred twenty calories. And you gotta add. And you gotta add two tubs of mashed potatoes. Ingredient. I'm glad you remember that. Yes, I did. So let's do let's do that. Let's uh, find the mashed potatoes with gravy. We're not gonna do the family. We're gonna do the regular. And oh yeah, there's two of them, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, that add that to Neil. So now we have a dubious 2,360 calories, 144 grams of fat, 26 grams of saturated fat. <laughs> 550 milligrams of cholesterol, 5,940 milligrams of sodium, 114 grams of carbs, 152 grams of protein. This is all based, and uh, percentage daily values are based on 2,000 calorie diet. We don't care about that. Um, oh, yes, there's one more thing. There's biscuits, too. There's, there's yes. uh, four biscuits. Four biscuits, yes. So let me add four of them. Dry steel biscuits. Three, four. <laughs> yes. Add... And here are our final totals. Are you ready for this? Please don't laugh when you say it, but yes. I'll try not to. Calories, 3,090. Mm -hmm. Total fat, 179 grams. Dang. Oof. 53 grams of saturated fat. Okay. 555 milligrams of cholesterol. 8,090 milligrams of sodium. Okay, that's too much salt right there. That's way too much salt. Mm -mm. 167 grams of protein 
and 203 grams of carbs. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. You're pretty much saying. So, yeah, you're pretty much saying. Yep. You're pretty much saying, kill me. <laughs> and at the 2,000 calorie diet, we are talking about percentages ranging from carbs at 60 percent to sodium at 337 percent. The fats are 275. So, to put this back into perspective, remember we were saying about how her statement about not being two meals doesn't hold water? Yeah. Um, I'm doubling down on that. That shouldn't be enough. That should be three meals, four meals. And unless you're able to take all the salt out of it, you really shouldn't be having that period. That is incredibly stupid. Like I said before, it's a lot of people out there to try to get rich quick and this is the way they do it and I'm I'm just gonna scroll down here to some of the comments and see what people said about this real quick. Let's see. She may actually sue every restaurant that's on T V. See, no way she deserved twenty mil for this. They should fill her bucket and send her on her way, but they shouldn't have a bucket overflowing in the air when it feels when it only feels half the way. To say it is to show the chicken is ludicrous. Way back in the 60s, I think a soup company had to change the way they displayed soup because it was false advertising. They had a regular soup bowl and all these vegetables showing at the top. In reality, vegetables would be on the bottom and all you see was, and Izzy shows up now, broth, which wouldn't sell the products. So they placed in clear placed in clear glass marbles in the bowl to force the vegetables at the top to be seen, but it's implied that there were so many vegetables in the bowl that you would see them all at the top. So so if you notice now, the soup bowls are very shallow, almost a dinner place. This is really... Nah, 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 I can't see what you're going to show. But time the bucket, they need to use smaller buckets. The only thing I will say about this whole false advertising thing is I do agree with her on one point. Don't use a bucket. Don't use a bucket. Use a plate. That's what KFC actually does when you click on that um, thing where it says how KFC's website describes this thing. Mm -hmm. It actually is on a plate. But I believe the chicken is enlarged to show texture, and I don't think it says that anywhere here. So they need to have that on the ad. Have a plate. Try to show eight of them. If you can, it's not very easy mm -hmm. to do that on a plate. And you can say enlarge to show texture, or you can not. If you show it on a plate, you make it a little easier and you make it so that the bucket thing doesn't come off like that. But like I said before, I have nothing else to say to this. Y'all, I'm going to put the link in the description below so y'all can see this for yourselves. And y'all can say whatever y'all want to. Because like I said before, I am not judging this lady, even though I kind of am a little bit. But I am. <laughs> not judging this lady, because no, but this is weird and strange and bleh. Get up and go. If you want to, I'm on 20 man. That's like that's like I mean I mean I mean I mean it's like, I mean you know I mean that's almost like saying somebody gave you fifty dollars worth of toys and you only and they only look you got forty five dollars worth. That's why I feel like we have the right to judge her. We if you want to judge by the whole notion about the false advertising, okay, that's fine. But here's the reason why I'm judging the way I am. Here's the reason why most of them are. Ding 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 ding. ding Twenty million dollars for this <laughs> 20 million dollars that's like what I say 20 million dollars 20 fucking million dollars for this what are you trying to do buy a whole country in Europe <laughs> good lord don't say it's principle if it was about principle you wouldn't be sued for 20 million fucking dollars If you are going to sue for $20 million, I want you to say this up front right now. Those $20 million, tax, you're donating it. You're donating all, not a little bit of it, not, not half of it, all of it to the needy. That's the only justifiable way I could see you trying to sue for $20 million if you somehow win. So that bit, if that bitch even holds $1... Then it's not about principle. It's about greed. Yeah, this 
doesn't make any sense at all whatsoever. Oh, and never that, does. And with that, I'm going to pause this real quick. Because somebody else showed up, I need to show this to you real quick. And see if he has anything else to add on to it. And then we'll mentor everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, what's going on? Ryu here again, along with 40. This time, uh, Izzy showed up, so I have to have him have his input in this. Izzy? Chicken man. <laughs> okay, first off, you shut up. You shut up, Channel 2. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> shut up to Channel 2. Okay, let's see. I had to put a finite value on, horror, on the horror of discovering your $20 fill KFC. KFC. Yeah, okay. she basically okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay, okay. Basically, the short version of it is though she basically said that the chicken, the, the chicken bucket and KFC just fell up all the way, so she basically was suing them for twenty million dollars. Okay, let me read that again. Hard to put a finite value on the horror of discovering your twenty dollar, twenty dollar. Let me say that again. Twenty dollar KFC fill up bucket. <laughs> As filled up as the one in the picture, but a brave, stupid New York woman. <laughs> New Yorker, what do you expect? Bravely stupid. Yeah, there, there you go. That's the sequel to Bravely Second. You got Bravely Stupid. <laughs> bravely stupid New York woman and her attorney are going to try. They figured the violation is worth twenty million. What the fuck is wrong with you? Twenty million. Yes. The and, fuck? Yes. Yes. And also, yes. 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 Also, um. 40 happened to um, calculate the whole entire meal, you know, how, how many stuff, how much stuff to get, and basically it would be enough to kill a person. <laughs> 3,000 plus calories. Yeah, I'm saying enough to kill a person. 500 plus milligrams of cholesterol, like 8,000 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> See, enough to kill a person. What, what, what are we looking at here? Are we looking at genocide or, or <laughs> something more? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I think it depends. Depends on what, because I, I'm, I'm curious now. I'm curious. <laughs> well, she basically said she wanted to make, she's retired and she wanted to make meals off of KFC, which I kind of got what? up and went, you can't make meals off KFC! <laughs> she thought the fill-up thing would be good for two meals for her, and she, and she said that because of the chicken size, it is not. So I got pissed off, went to the nutrition calculator, and decided to do the numbers out and the numbers don't tie to her story at all oh no it's not two meals she's right it's not one meal it's three it's four meals worth of stuff and that's if you're doing healthy portions although there's nothing healthy about the food but you're asking for 20 million dollars for a 20 20 dollar koc fill-up bucket exactly, exactly all the grounds of false advertising I'm sorry, but if, if, if for instance, let's say um, you go to 7-Eleven, right, and they have that, in, you know, that limited time 10 wings for $5 deal, mm -hmm. yeah, you would want to stack up for, like, say, oh, you're going to, you're, you're going to school, or you're going to, like, you know, like a little elementary school, that's perfect if you want, if you really want to just cheapen out the deal. Like, you don't want to pay too much for chicken, but, you know, you can't get a lot of chicken, but you can get enough. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Mm. Like, yeah, you get 20, 20 for $10, and you got, like, maybe 10 or so kids, they can eat two. Easily. They yep. can eat two. But still, though, a $20 K like I said, I mean, a $20 KFC fill-up bucket. We don't know what a fill-up bucket looked like here, though. Yeah. And then yeah, the violation is worth twenty million dollars? Uh no. Twenty million? No. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah, no, I'm sure we... she stuffed her face in the food all the well, same. Well here's no here's <laughs> the thing. We know, we know, here's the only thing about it, right? KFC also got up and said they would give her seventy dollars in coupons and she said no to that. Also Because she wanted to hit them where it hurts. On principle. On principle. That's stupid principle. Once again, on KFC's website, it describes the meal exactly yeah. <laughs> as it showed, exactly as she, what she got. Eight pieces of chicken. Go on the website. Yeah. It says eight pieces of chicken. 
Well, that's what you're supposed to get. That's the standard for KFC. You get eight pieces of chicken. You're going to yeah. get something it's, like it's usually not. Family? Yeah, and it's usually not family? eight pieces. Yeah, it is usually yeah, and or usually so. and usually the way a KFC portion sizes are now, they're not big pieces of chicken anymore. They're small, tiny things. Yeah, they get yeah. they get smaller and smaller. That's just the way the business yeah. is going. Pretty much. Yeah, that's what it is. It's Cause the same it's like, thing with cause um. It's, cause it's like I said. It's the same thing with anyway. Because it's like I said before. See, Izzy remember. See, Izzy remember honey, honey barbecue wings, and then when they got rid of them, you basically said no. Mm-hmm. Then they had hot wings. And then you went to go get yeah. it. And then when they started, yeah. and, then, and then when they started tasting like crap, you left. <laughs> That's what it is. Like it's all yeah. about that personal taste. If it don't taste like what it's supposed to taste like, you, you leave. <laughs> yeah. You don't do anything else. You leave. But still, though, you pay what you get, but you leave. But still, though, I don't. I mean, I don't understand how in the world twenty. Twenty dollar a twenty dollar KFC bucket meal is worth twenty million dollars. That 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 don't seem math logic thing something. The only reason she's going with a crazy ass number like that is because of personal greed and because KFC is so large that she feels that twenty million is a material number. Please. But it's almost hundred percent punitive damages. That number would go down in court, or should go down in court. And either way, I still stand by my assertion that, hey, if you're going to sue for $20 million in this, and it is about principle, it really is about principle, every single dollar goes to charities. Exactly. Then, I'll agree, it is about the principle. If Mm -hmm. it isn't about the and if you are not doing that, then you are a total hypocrite who is just being greedy. I'm going to go on the line and say she is being greedy. I right, think I'm, you and 99% oh, okay. of the sane people out oh, okay. there would think that. Okay. That's the latter, yeah. Right. I'm, I'm going with the latter. Okay, I thought... She, 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 okay, at first I thought Idris was going to go off and start ranting. Like, you so oh, you, no! You do that. For chicken? Also, <laughs> also Izzy, Izzy, yes. check out what her name is. It's almost perfect yes, for a fast food place. Just check out Wurtz her name. Burger. <laughs> her name is Wurtz Burger. Wurtz Burger. Wurtz Burger. You're gonna give Tom to run for your money on you. Uh-huh. Get in and out of get in and out of run for his money. Yeah. You want to go to a nasty food? You want to go to a nasty burger place? There you go. Works burger. The worst burgers eschewed the whole idea of Carl's Jr. They went to Carl's Senior instead. Oh, oh good. God. So the other thing I say too, I told the fellas yesterday after the shares with everybody else. Um, I'm not gonna say the rest of this because I don't want to get sued by anybody or saying this, but you know, we're not gonna family, get sued. We're not getting you know, sued. So, like I said, we got no money to our name. You know, so I went out yesterday to get some food, and I went to a um, I will change when place I start getting sales. my first. You know, I you know I actually went to a place to sell his ribs, and so I got a pasta. And my parents got ribs. So what happened was that my mom wanted some barbecue sauce. So they got up. The guy said, "All right, get the barbecue sauce." He brought back some sauce. It was ketchup. Your parents didn't sue. Nope. Oh. Nope. My mom. I would think. Nope. Nope. My mom, nope. My mom basically looked at me and said, "My mom said we're not coming here anymore, are we?" She was and she went, "Nope." <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why your mom. Your mom is smart. Your mom is yes, smart. She knows absolutely. the value. It's exactly. like, oh wait, you don't you don't know what hot sauce is? You don't know what barbecue sauce is? But yet you freaking sent you. Well, no, here's, you well, no. Well, no. Well, no. here's the thing about what? Now here's now here's the now, now see here's the part of the story I didn't tell y'all. I told Ford I didn't say this to you, because I know it ain't gonna busy. Both the waiter and the manager basically kept saying in repeatedly that the sauce they brought us was barbecue sauce. <laughs> And not only that, they also say that that they also get it from a company in Texas or wherever it is in South somewhere, and they ship it to them. So what they ship them is what they get. So I sat there and went, "You mean tell me they ship y'all ketchup?" <laughs> <laughs> you may want to change the right there. That will suppliers. Piss me off. That would piss me off right there. Not not only that, but. That would just like I would stand up, I I start walking. Wait, what is this? Is this ketchup? 
I asked for barbecue sauce. No, we leaving. No, right there. No, no, right there and there. We leaving. Well, I did. I did finish. Wait, well, you know, I did finish the other story too, man. Other part of it. When my, you know, you know, when we, when they came, the bill came. You know, my dad went to pay for the bill. He went up there paying mm -hmm. for the bill. When he paid for the bill, the he didn't get a receipt because it said the machine went cuckoo somewhere. Oh, of course oh, it did. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, and, and, and then, and then, according to the waiter, that randomly happens. Yeah, don't go back there no more. No way you're going back there ever again. <laughs> nah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. I hope you gave it a one-star review on Yelp, too. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, that, 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 that counts against you, sir. This that, that really counts. Yes. This and I'm guessing no, and no tip. No tip. Well, I think my dad. Not I think I think my dad gave him six bucks. I, I, I got. I, I got a little. Uh, that's no, too much. I, I got a little. No. I love it. No, I got a little. I basically was joking around. I basically, I basically sat there. I was like, I was like, yeah. I was, I was like, yeah. You know, you know what I did? I wanted to give him a buck, a buck twenty-five. Oh hell no! <laughs> mm -hmm. They don't get us. They don't get a silver dollar to that man, man. <laughs> no, I would have given him a tip actually. Uh, well, punch in the face. No, that's not a tip. That's assault. I know some I mean some people one I, mean, I mean I mean some people I mean some people make it stare at a somewhere. I don't no, know. No. One cent. You just give him a penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. A little bit of a yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this tip. This is Yeah, your, this is why I thought your service. This is your Boy, you do better. Man. This is your incentive. <laughs> Boy, yes. don't be a tip, but man. At least give give them give them the value of what they were doing. Give them a nickel. <laughs> I thought you were going to stay give it, take a dump on the penny. <laughs> Not oh, even no, I would no, go no, that far. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what? Take a dump on the penny? <laughs> oh, you did say give, you did say give them the equivalent of what they did. So they took a dump on the name of surface. <laughs> so yes, of I course, give, you take a dump five, on it. I'd give them five cents. Take a dump on it. No, what you do is you choke slam the, choke slam the waiter, and take a dump on him, and then you leave. No, I just like okay. I'm wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm, okay. okay. Choke slam. Okay, let me get Okay, hold on. Choke slam the waiter would be a big thing. Take it a dump on the waiter himself <laughs> while he's unconscious. Don't know if I can say that'd be big thing or not right there. That's man. not a big thing. That's not. That's not an anybody thing. That's a WTF thing. I'd be like, hold on. Let me just pull up. Let me just go into my. Let me go into my. Let me go into my top. That's. Oh, I I got one for you here. Here, here, here's five cents. Yeah, man. Here's your tip, man. That's what I Here's your tip, man. This is a ball of lint. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Good oh, come on. Oh, yep. that's terrible. <laughs> or, what you, or what lint? you can do, or what you can do is you could just flip the, um, flip the cup of, uh, barbecue sauce, quote, quote, quote. <laughs> flip it upside down, lay the penny on top of that. <laughs> or the nickel or whatever you want to use. No. That's that's somebody that's that's somebody probably be mean and evil to him. We just politely walk down and said, "Yo, we're not coming here." No you more. were, yeah, you were nice about it. You were nice about it. Too nice. <laughs> like I said before, I ain't I ain't really going there no more though. But that was that was that was kind of messed up here though. You, yeah, because like I, I tried it. And I'm like, because I tried, I'm like, this is catch up. And then the and then you know to have both the manager and the person get up and say it's it's it's, it's barbecue sauce. Yeah, that's, oh, no. that's no. No. barbecue sauce, you know, and, we, and I know the color. You know, it's, like barbecue that's sauce. It's, it's like barbecue sauce looks dark. It's looks dark, minus, yeah. It's not, it's not like bright ketchup. Red. Ketchup looks bright there, red. Are, yeah, bright red is ketchup, but when it's darker than that, that's barbecue sauce. Yes. I'm saying, have you ever well, It almost sounds oh, like, oh, oh, like they're trying to play the light, light game light. on you. Well, unfortunately, you know, well, unfortunately, they also say that... The, the light sauce that we got was barbecue sauce, and I went, "This is ketchup, dude." <laughs> See right there. How well lit was the um, place you were at? Very. Okay, Same. so they probably forgot to dim the lights and disguise it. Okay, right there and there. No, no, I'm sorry. No, that that's minus twenty. That's minus twenty against you. Mm -hmm. mm. You, you like lied to the people. But like I said, but like I said, but that's, that's, like I said, but, but this is not like said, this is not about the article thing. I think I had enough of this crazy person who wants to do twenty dollars, made twenty million dollars for a twenty for a twenty bot for for a twenty thing of KFC chicken, 
which I, well, don't I agree. think is worth it. <laughs> Works you know? burger. Cause it's like not. I, Cause like I said, cause not, it's like I said before. Yes, it's like it's like four three four. If you actually do it proportionately, yes, you can make a bunch of meals out of it. However, if you decide to eat KFC every single day, you going to get sick. You either gonna get sick or you gonna be in the grave, one or the other. You gonna be an ass is what you gonna be. You're gonna be a fucking ass. That's what you're gonna be on. Yeah, I'm gonna shut up. But I... shut up. But I... no, no, no. Stop lying. Saying, stop. I think lying. I'm saying. I think I said that one person who got up and said, "I'm gonna eat McDonald's every day." You know, you, you know, you know what that was? That was a bad idea. Yeah, that was super me. Oh man, I don't want to eat McDonald's every day. No, you every don't. Want, you don't. Day. Why would you donate your body to science like that? No, oh, man. What do you, what do you, uh, what are you, lab rat? That's a human know. lab rat? That's a messed up, I mean, I mean, I like McDonald's, they got some okay burgers and fries, and, I mean, they got some really good fries, and the okay fries are awesome, and stuff. but I can't sit there and go there every single solitary day, even if they had McRibs, I wouldn't go there every single day, I, I would spray it out. Exactly, that's what you have to do, plus you can always, plus it also costs more to do that than to, you know, make your own food. Or buy something at the grocery store. Yep. Uh, speaking of fast food, did you guys try the uh, taco salad at Wendy's? I've been wanting to do that. Uh, uh, I think I tried it once back in the day. It was okay. But it was, I mean, I'm not I mean, on the amount of some of the salads at Wendy's are kind of large. It's I don't know what. So unless you have a really big stomach or you really hungry, you can go be the it all in one sentence. How much does it cost? I don't know. I haven't had mm. a, I haven't had one of taco salad in a long mm. period of time. I like I like hearing that it's filling. That might, that would mean it is filling. It is filling because I'm gonna think of what I mean. I mean they give you a really big bowl of salad. I like that idea. And I'm gonna say, I, I you would can, seriously if consider if salad it, if it was like that. I'm say, if you can eat it in one sitting, you can do it. But I never. I, I mean I mean I try I, mean, I tried some of the salads back in the day. It was still okay, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't eat a whole salad because most time I mean, most time you have to like take it with you or. Either like throw mm. the rest of it away, which is wasteful, or take the rest of it with you or something, because you can be the finish a whole one. Unless you're really hungry, or you had a big, unless you're really hungry, or you're, you know, unless you're starving or really hungry, you can be able to pull it off. Because mm. the one thing, because I mean, the one thing that'll fill you up more is not really the top, it's like chicken or bacon or something like that. It's the lettuce. Lettuce will fill I'm you sorry, up real but... quick. I'm yeah. I'm far, but I can make I can make a taco salad. I know I can make a taco salad. Just like, just like, bam! Oh, you want me to? Let me brown this son of a bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> let me brown this son of a bitch up. Let me put this in here. Let me put that in there. Yep. But well, like I said before, but like I said before, as with this article, I have nothing to say. You got this to say, forty? Hell uh, no. No. I, I said my piece. I said about nine pieces. You got anything else to say, Izzy? Don't go to work, burger. <laughs> Let's go to Wurzburger for takeout. I like that. That's all, that's, I like that. That's, yeah. all my, that's all my hair now. Work on the Wurzburger, home at the Wurzburger. How may I help you today? Yeah, can I get a Wurzburger combo? Wurzburger, no onions! <laughs> Lord Fry! Some pickles! Can I get a no Wurzburger? Lord Fry! <laughs> I want Where's a Wurzburger! <laughs> I want a worse burger extra crazy. What the fuck? Do you crazy. have sal do you have salads here? No, we do not serve salads. <laughs> we don't have salads here. What wrong with you? What? What do you mean we have salads here? We're men here. We do men. I don't know anymore. Hello sir, welcome to Worst Burger. Would you like to try our special heart attack burger? <laughs> Welcome to Work Burger. Home of the Double Burger. Work at the Words Burger. Home of the meat. Over the meat mountain. Five pennies. Extra <laughs> lettuce. Bacon. Cheese. Yes, please. I'll toasted go. Toasted bun. Yes, please. I'll go to Hawkins. Shit. I'll go to Hawkins Burger. Shit. Fuck that shit. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Words Burger. Burger. Home of the Double Bypass Drive Thru. Yeah, I like my worst burger extra greasy, extra, extra, extra lard, extra, extra, extra cheese, extra, 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 extra bacon. 
Oh yeah, and and and, and hold the pickles and onions. Is that, the is, fuck? That, is that bacon deep fried? Yeah, I want you to put. I want you to put all the bacon you can on that on that burger. I want. I want X. I want six XL bacon. I basically, <laughs> when I get that burger, I want to see the grease dripping off of it. I want no. I want to see that. I want to see that grease glisten. Yes. Would you like a grease soda with that, sir? Oh yeah, I want oh, no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. I do not want a soda. I want a milkshake so thick when I drink it and I suck on it, it looks like I'm gonna have an aneurysm. I want the most thickest milkshake to make. I want when I go home. I want. I want to make a Kaniku man fart. You know what? I want to make the Nico Man fart with this with this milkshake, sir. Oh my god. I want to make vapor trails with my ass, okay? That's what I want to do. Welcome to Wurzburger, the first ever forward thinking fast food chain that has its own physician inside. Working the words burger, hold me your words burger, how may I help you? I want this, this, and this. Okay, please drive up. Yes, where's my food at? Please get out the car and come in. What? That sounds this? like Five Nights at Worst Burgers. Oh, God. That's what it sounds <laughs> like. Work That's a real scenario, sounds like. Oh my god, yeah. I'm a dumb uh, I, got, I got no more jokes to say right now. I'm going to end this video now. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where it's like, oh, you want a jump scare? Yeah, look at this big ass burger right here. <laughs> <laughs> the burger is so big, it looks like it's alive. <laughs> and I summon in attack mode, Hungry oh Witch Burger. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, yeah. y'all can, can see the link below and do whatever. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Ryu here. <laughs> Later. <laughs> <laughs> see ya.